There are quite a few resellers out there that don't quite understand this one thing about eBay's promoted listings. And I'm gonna tell you about that on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And as I mentioned on the other side, there's something that, there's a big misconception that a lot of resellers are having and watching the forums or checking out the forums, I like to read the forums as you guys know, and there's just a lot of misunderstanding and, and we even get a lot of that in the, the live streams. And I'm not faulting anyone, but really as resellers, we need to know what we're up against. And I think a lot of times we're not really exercising good common sense when it comes to what we're doing as resellers. Now, what I'm trying to say is this, is that when it comes to promoted listings, I think there's a lot of resellers out there who are just doing it wrong and are hurting their business because of it. Now, again, just the promoted listings by itself is not going to fix your account, but uh, at least if you know the rules, if you know what you're up against, and if you know the amount of money or have an idea of the amount of money you may be losing because of, of not using promoted listings, uh, then maybe you'll reconsider. Now, I got to tell you this. Here's the misconception. The misconception is if you use promoted listing, let's say you have 100% of your items are promoted. Okay, all of them, every single one in your store. Um, the misconception is every time you sell an item that's promoted, you're going to pay a promoted listing fee above the 12.9%, whatever it is now that eBay is charging. It's all based on categories anyway, but let's just say roughly 13%, okay? Uh, above and beyond that is promoted listings. So I can tell you from my data, my own data, that I promote 100% of my listings, okay? And based on just about a month's sample size of data that I'm showing you right here, over 50% of the sales that I made over this period of time did I have to pay a promoted listing final value fee. So half of my listings were organic, the 13 whatever percent you want to put on it for the final value fee for that item. Well, guess what? I didn't have to pay a promoted listing fee, even though those listings were promoted because on this account, it's 100% promoted on all my items. I don't have any uh, items that I'm up against, you know, low competition. It's all pretty high competition stuff. And so the misconception is every item I sell on eBay, if I promote it, is going to charge me the 13%, whatever it is, plus whatever the rate I set for promoted listings. Now, if you're currently not promoting your listings and your competition is promoting at, let's just say 2%, which is the bare bones minimum, right? So they're paying roughly 15% and you're paying 13%, okay? So let's say you're selling an item for $100 and so is your competitor. You have very similar listings. You've done everything to create a listing that looks a lot like a successful competitor. The photo looks good. The title's good. The price is the same. And yet they're making sales and you're not. And it could be they're promoting and you're not, okay? And that 2%, just 2% difference. So if your item is 100 bucks, right? Uh, let's not even count shipping for a minute. Let's just say 100 bucks, free shipping. And okay, so 13%, you're gonna see roughly what, 87 bucks. Your competitor is gonna see 85. Now, let's say they sell 10 items to your two, okay? And guess what? They're, they're making hand and fist way more money than you, more conversions, more sales to your two items, okay? Because you wanted to save 2%. So you're looking for that unicorn buyer to come and find your listing and be compelled to buy your listing over your competitor's listing who is promoting more. You know, eBay is going to put that listing higher than yours because they are offering eBay an additional amount to promote their item to help sell that item, okay? It's part of eBay's game. Listen, folks, you may not agree with the promoted listings scheme or uh, ploy to take your money. Uh, a lot of people get so bent. I'm not going to use promoted listings. I could care less, but yet your competition is and they're making sales. And in this environment where 
uh, it's a slow economy anyway. We've talked about that many times and, and I can see the traffic is even going down in my store and I'm adding more items, uh, more and higher demand items. And my traffic is kind of going down and had a couple crap sales days the last couple days. Now, um, for me, my mindset is got to do as much as we can to get our items in front of more eyes and rank as high as possible. And this whole idea of just acting upon principle, I don't care. I'm not giving eBay another dime. That mentality is not a winning strategy. Okay. And look, I understand. I'm not debating with anyone to why we should have to utilize promoted listings to be successful on eBay. I think eBay has sort of proven that so far that if you're not promoting with eBay on most items, now again, certain items you shouldn't be promoting. Well, if you're not doing that, then you know, don't be surprised if you've done everything that we talk about on this channel to a T and your sales are still not where you want them to be or in line with your competitors. So um, the misconception is that you don't promote your listings because you don't want to, to pay eBay an extra five, six, seven, eight percent on every sale that you make from that point forward. And that's just not the truth, guys. For me, it's around 50%. I thought it was actually higher. I thought it was around 60% where eBay was taking a promoted listing. But when I did the math, crunched the numbers, it's a little over 50%. And on that spreadsheet, it was right at 50%. And I'm fine with that. And it was, it was a pleasant surprise that I wasn't paying eBay a promoted listing fee on every sale because you know eBay would find a way to get that extra fee if they really, really wanted to. And I was really surprised that in my case that I was only paying half of the transactions an additional amount over the just the base final value fee. Now, you should do your own homework. You should check your own fees. Go in and uh, check each transaction if you want. Uh, maybe over a period of time, maybe do take a day and uh, or two and see how many of those fees, final value fees, included a promoted listing fee. Now that's if you use promoted listings. If you're not using promoted listings, you know there's no way for you to find that out except for maybe take my word for it. Uh, if you are trying to be serious about selling on eBay, if this is something that you're new at or if it's just something that maybe you've been selling for years and the idea uh, that you've sold all these years without having to use a promoted listing fee to help boost your sales and now it's sort of being forced upon you. Well, again, guys, I tell you, it's eBay's sandbox, okay? And they're going to add little things like this over time. I mean, this is not the last one. Promoted listings, there's going to be other things that they're going to add, right? And the sellers that adapt and adapt to play within eBay's game, do what eBay wants you to do, then you're going to be more successful. And that's why I said like on the live stream, guys, it's your business, quote unquote, but really we're still kind of working for eBay. We're doing what they want instead of running the business the way we want. And you got to accept it if you're going to stay on this platform. You can drive yourself crazy if you just don't allow yourself to adapt to what eBay wants you to do. Um, be willing to pay a little extra in fees. Now, some of you might say, look, between the increase in you know shipping costs um, the increase in you know various costs that I have to deal with, um, paying an extra seven plus percent in some cases. Now, if you just do three percent additional promoted, I guess that's fine. But the serious sellers are going a little higher than that. So that additional cost has to come from somewhere, and that's why it's so important to be sourcing in such a way where you're not paying a lot for that item and you have a lot of room to work with. The way you source allows you to use things like promoted listings, coupons, markdown sales, best offer, and things like that to help promote your item. Of course, you're going to make less than maybe you had hoped for, but if you're sourcing properly where you have a lot of room to work with, it's not a problem. And I think for a lot of us, we tend to source maybe the incorrect items or paying simply too much for the items we're reselling and it puts us in a position where we can't do extra things like utilize promoted listings, coupons and all that stuff that other people are doing 
and that's where you have to improve on. Find better sourcing opportunities. That way when you utilize three, four, five, six, seven percent on your promoted listing rates, it doesn't sting so bad. In fact, you're happy to make the sale, you're happy to make the flip, you're making two, three, four, maybe higher X return on your money profit wise. Each and every one of us has to do everything we can within our power to get those sales. So um, if I haven't encouraged you to utilize promoted listings on your items that have average to high competition, you're probably going to need to do that soon if you want to see an improvement in your sales. So I want your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. I talk about promoted listings all the time, but I thought I'd share this with you because I think there's a misconception, like I said, that if you start promoting, let's say you promote all your listings, every time you make a sale, you're going to get hit with that extra fee and that's just not the case. So guys, hit that like button if you enjoyed the content of this video. Subscribe to the channel and of course hit that notification bell so when I go live or make another video which is becoming more frequent, you're going to be notified. Understanding promoted listings and how it affects your bottom line is just yet another example of how flippin' ain't easy. And I want you guys to have a great rest of your day and we will talk to you very soon to not only use promoted listings, but to utilize coupons, markdown sales, uh, watchers to offers, watchers to offers. Gosh darn it. Sourcing is very important because it allows you to do things like utilize higher promoted listing rates. It allows you to utilize coupons, uh, markdown sales, uh, offers to watchers, that type of thing. You can add best watcher. Best watcher? What the f Take 10.